The voice judge Gwen Stefani showed off a brand new look on the reality singing competition show. And as much as viewers loved the No Doubt singer, many were quick to roast her for the new appearance. So, what are viewers saying? Gwen Stefani has been all about setting style trends. From the moment she broke into the mainstream with No Doubt in the mid 90s until now, she has always been one step ahead of what was popular and in. She may be in her 50s these days, but her love of style continues and has only gotten more elaborate in the years since she first garnered fame. Gwen Stefani has millions of followers on social media who keep up with everything she does. Whether she is promoting new music, showing off her latest styles, or doing something around the ranch in Oklahoma with Blake Shelton, there's always something to see, and her followers love it. It turns out, Gwen Stefani showed off a new look during the battle rounds for The Voice. This is a tense time for the participants, as they have only one shot to impress and move on to the next round. However, even though the singers hoped to knock it out of the park as they sang for their lives in the competition, many viewers did not think Gwen's latest look was a knockout in the slightest. While Stephanie may be all about pushing the envelope when it comes to style choices, a lot of fans say that she completely missed the mark, and they haven't been shy about letting her know. While Gwen Stefani does get a lot of love from her followers, it was a largely cold reception when it came to her recent look on The Voice. While you can't blame anyone for trying their best to pull a certain look off, Gwen's latest look was not doing her any favors, according to fans. It was a typical high-energy night on The Voice, with lights flashing, music blaring, and aspiring artists pouring their hearts out in front of millions. Season 27 was shaping up to be one of the most intense competitions yet with some of the best voices in the show's history battling for the top prize. But while the performances on stage captivated viewers, it wasn't just the music that had people talking. On this particular night, Gwen Stefani, one of the show's veteran coaches and a music icon in her own right, stepped onto the set in a look that had everyone buzzing, and not in the best way. Known for her edgy fashion choices, Gwen has long walked the line between pushing boundaries and setting trends. Over the years, she sported everything from bold leopard print jackets to futuristic metallic dresses, always managing to stay ahead of the curve and make a statement. But this time, her style gamble didn't seem to land as she had hoped. Social media lit up the moment she appeared on screen, and not all of the comments were kind. The first clue that something was off came early in the night when fans took to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, posting a flood of comments expressing their confusion and in some cases, outright disdain, about Gwen's outfit choice. What is Gwen even wearing tonight? One user tweeted, alongside a gif of a woman looking utterly bewildered. Another chimed in, I love Gwen, but this look is just ridiculous. I can't take her seriously. The look in question? A head-to-toe neon green ensemble that featured an exaggerated oversized jacket with shoulder pads that seemed to extend a foot past her frame. Paired with that was a pair of matching neon leggings and knee-high platform boots in the same blinding color. To top it all off, she wore a silver metallic visor-style headpiece, reminiscent of something from a futuristic sci-fi movie. Her makeup was equally bold, with neon pink eyeliner and a dramatic metallic lip that glistened under the studio lights. While Gwen had always been known for her risk-taking fashion sense, fans felt this outfit took things too far. I usually love how bold Gwen is with her fashion, but this just looks like she's trying too hard. One fan commented on Instagram. Another user posted, I get that she's Gwen Stefani, and she can wear whatever she wants, but this, this is too much. It didn't take long for memes to start circulating. One particularly viral post featured a split-screen comparison of Gwen's outfit next to a character from a 1980s space-themed cartoon. The caption read, when you're supposed to coach a singing show at 8, but have a galactic battle at 9. Another meme showed a photoshopped image of Gwen alongside the cast of the Jetsons, with fans joking that she was auditioning for a role in a reboot of the animated series. As the night went on, the internet's critique only intensified. While some fans jumped to Gwen's defense, arguing that fashion is subjective and that she has always been a trailblazer, others were less forgiving. There's being fashion forward and then there's looking like you're lost in a costume party. Tonight, Gwen looks lost, one fan tweeted. Despite the online backlash, Gwen seemed unfazed during the show.
She smiled and laughed along with her fellow coaches, Reba Misentire, Niall Horan, and John Legend, and passionately advocated for her team members, giving heartfelt feedback to the contestants. But behind the scenes, sources say the critiques were not lost on her. Gwen saw some of the comments during the show breaks, a production insider revealed. She's got a thick skin. She's been in the public eye for decades, after all, but she's also human. The negative reactions stung a bit, especially since she thought this look would be a fun, playful departure from the norm. According to the source, Gwen had worked closely with her stylist on creating an ensemble that was meant to feel futuristic and bold, as a way to stand out in what has become an increasingly competitive fashion landscape on The Voice. She wanted something that pushed the envelope, the insider explained. She didn't want to play it safe, especially since the competition is so fierce this season. Gwen has always prided herself on being a fashion icon, and she knew people would talk about this look, she just didn't expect the reaction to be so harsh. Some fans pointed out that Gwen's fashion choices had always been a part of her persona, dating back to her, no doubt days when she mixed ska punk streetwear with glamorous Hollywood flair. Gwen's always been out there with her style, one fan defended on Twitter. That's why we love her. People need to chill. It's just clothes. Others, however, couldn't shake the feeling that this look missed the mark. I love Gwen as a coach and as an artist, but she's setting trends, not starting them anymore, wrote one commentator on Facebook. This feels like she's trying too hard to reclaim the queen of fashion title she had in the early 2000s. We get it, you're edgy, but there's a fine line between being fashion-forward and looking ridiculous. The controversy also sparked a broader conversation about the pressures that women in the public eye face when it comes to their appearance. Many fans acknowledge that Gwen, like many female celebrities, is constantly under a microscope when it comes to her looks. While her male counterparts, like Blake Shelton, who could always be seen in simple jeans and a flannel, never faced such scrutiny, Gwen had always felt the need to push boundaries. Why are we so harsh on women for what they wear? One fan wrote on Instagram, If John Legend walked out there in a crazy outfit, we'd all laugh it off and call it quirky. But Gwen wears something wild, and suddenly she's getting dragged online. She's been in this business a long time, let her have her fun. The fashion disaster even prompted some former contestants from The Voice to weigh in. I worked with Gwen during my season, and let me tell you, she's always 100% herself, one former contestant tweeted. She doesn't care what people think, and that's what makes her so cool. She takes risks, and sometimes they don't land. So what? By the end of the week, Gwen herself responded to the controversy during an interview with Access Hollywood. Wearing a more toned-down black leather jacket and jeans, she laughed off the criticism. Look, I get it, she said with a grin. It was a bold look, and I knew not everyone would love it. But you know what? That's fashion. You take risks, and sometimes they hit, and sometimes people just don't get it. When asked whether the backlash would influence her future style choices, Gwen was quick to dismiss the idea. I've been doing this a long time, she said, flipping her iconic platinum blonde hair over her shoulder. I wear what I feel like wearing. If people don't like it, that's okay. Fashion is supposed to be fun. I didn't get into this business to play it safe. However, she did offer a bit of insight into the inspiration behind the controversial outfit. I was thinking about the future, she explained. I wanted to go for something that felt fresh like a mix of old-school sci-fi and high-fashion culture. It was a little wild, sure, but I'm proud of it. I love being creative, and that's never going to change. As the dust settled from the fashion drama, it became clear that Gwen Stefani wasn't going to let a few critics stop her from expressing herself. While the neon green ensemble may have been a miss for many, Gwen remained steadfast in her approach to fashion. Bold, unapologetic, and most of all, authentically herself. For her fans, both old and new, that's exactly what they come to expect from the Hollaback girl herself. Whether it's through her music, her role as a coach on The Voice, or her ever-evolving sense of style, Gwen Stefani continues to be a force in the entertainment world. And if her latest look is any indication, she's not slowing down anytime soon. Fashion risks may come and go, but for Gwen, the gamble is always worth it. And in a world where critics are quick to pounce, Gwen knows that at the end of the day, being true